sorry for the interruption but uh, guys as uh, in last video we are discussing about the uh, adding a paragraph so the limit is of only 15 minutes so the video just discon disconnected so we should moving uh, we are we were talking about adding a border so we just go to border and shading and uh, for doing this uh, we can uh, customly choose the page border and uh, we just go on the as according to our need uh, like I want this kind of and I want the color should be like orange and uh, which should be like uh, this and art uh, no I don't want any art and and if I want a border like I want to fill the color in a background okay I'll use the shadow thing mm, page border I choose this the page border now I'm going to choose the border and I can either choose the seating like if I want to fill a color inside it I'll just fill the um, blue color okay and I say uh, um, here you can choose your style and uh, here I, I choose the border of uh, my documents okay and if I click OK so you can see uh, the border came so you can use this in as according to your need okay uh, moving on next uh, what we have to discuss about is uh, is uh, mailing I think yeah it's mailing and uh, yeah like for what you do mailing like if, if you create a word document and you want to mail someone uh, like what you can do is just go to mail and uh, start mail merge and uh, okay uh, you, you just have to go to install merge merge group and and style mail merge and step by step mail merge wizard and so first upon the choose the, the document which you are working on uh, okay lighter okay so what how do you want to set up your lighter okay next question next next and uh, do according to your need and by following all the six step uh, like uh, select data source here you can select your data source I'm gonna I'll just choose a new SQL server operation and I'm gonna open this and uh, okay server name and data connection wizard you just have to do with your your server name and your things I, I can't tell my okay so in this way you can either do this mailing I don't think so most of the guys gonna use this but I just told you as it is a part of MS office uh, moving on next uh, we gonna drink talk about uh, print okay so how to print a document for printing a document you have to go to the file tab that that will redirect you to the backstage view here you go to the print and uh, you can uh, choose as per your need uh, like if you want to uh, hey hey this is the first thing which you use this is the main thing which you use for the printing here's the number of copies which you want like I want uh, six copies sorry I just clicked the back 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 button and uh, here you choose the number of copies and uh, the printer which you want to use uh, the print pages like you want to print the odd number of pages like one three five seven or you want to print the even number of pages here you see a uh, print only on both one side or print on both side that can save your paper or you just want to take portrait or orientation like if you have a, a more letters in your document and you don't have a, enough paper so you just go with a, a landscape orientation and uh, you just do this and here you can use the size and normal margin one page per sheet or four page you can scale to paper like uh, 16 page per sheet you can either choose to uh, 16 page per page and you can choose in this way okay so hopefully you got understand how to print so you can print now I think so you can print Okay, uh, there's a many things which you still need to be told like uh, how to modify a page orientation and many things I want to tell you uh, if you want to learn for doing this changing uh, some of the things of your page like uh, uh, you have to go to the page layout tab and moving on next uh, you have to go to the page setup group and here you can change the margin be you have to do all these things before printing your document and here you can change the orientation like you can either do from there and uh, you can size uh, columns one two three two 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can either insert a page break, like you gonna insert a, another page, and uh, like you're getting this. You just have to try with yourself in being a master in it. Okay, so uh, I think you must got that. Uh, here you can change your like how you want to indeed you you're guiding my point what, I, what I'm going to tell you if you want to do something from right even you can do this you just can you carry okay uh, if you want to increase spacing like okay for that I have to click here um, okay you see the space is increasing before after after that okay for after thing we have to go to the there and uh, after you see after you can either change your spacing okay so you have learned how to print how to use a mail merge and uh, you have learned many things okay there is not too much thing to learn in MS Word 2013 so I think I have teached you quite enough of MS Office like I gonna tell you something more uh, in this video I'll try to finish it okay so moving on next mm, it, we, there's a many of the types like if you see the review tab it just uh, uh, makes you enable a uh, trial checking your uh, spelling errors like uh, uh, if you want to change like there's is there any something grammar error or something you can change change of previous video like you see okay I will tell you Mm, sorry, S. Uh, uh, wait, S. R O R Y. Sorry, and uh, P E L A S E. Please, and you say spell error, and uh, it was just say okay change all. Sorry, and uh, here you see change all. Please, and uh, it just changes your spelling errors. And here you say in define get a, I don't have internet so I can get this feature and uh, here you see word count like how many words you have like there's a one pages in your one do, one word characters no spacing five and it just tell you about your page uh, here you can translate a document like uh, translate to United Kingdom Spain okay I gonna use Spanish I love this okay and uh, it just translate either than choose it anything here is the language option uh, you can uh, use your language or something i don't know here is the track changes we have discussed about in the previous videos if you know here's a compare like you can compare the two document here you have to browse the document and you just compare oh this one is yeah, this one. no that doesn't mean like this uh, you can compare both of these uh, and uh, restrict editing uh, you can uh, use a password limit uh, okay uh, I think there's uh, some problem uh, sorry guys my word has reported error it just uh, uh, reported an error sorry this is the MS office series I have to open it again it just reported an error not responding Sorry. blank document this is a secret file okay review restrict editing limit for meeting editing and uh, yes okay let's close this and uh, you start enforcing protection you can either you cheat you have to use your password uh, I don't <laughs> I don't tell you how to use the password like uh, moving on next has a view tab uh, here you can use the read mode I already told you all of these things in my previous video if you remember like uh, what is a view mode what is a web layout mode what is a pay draft mode there's a many mode which you can use to see your document draft mode outline mode so hopefully I think uh, you guys understand it, how to work in MS Word 2013. Uh, if you find any problem, you can ask me. And uh, till the video is of 15 minutes, we should discuss some more things. Again, as a refresher, here's the uh, option. Um, uh, here, uh, 
Okay, so we wanna discuss about just random things. If when you go to the file tab and the backstage mode, uh, you see the option mode, and uh, if you see the general option, here you have the display option. Here you can display your man tab characters, many things which you can do, like proofing. Here you can auto correct option, like uh, change the auto correct option. Here you can customize your everything, uh, and uh, your you can customize your. I'm so 2013. Like you're getting the point. And uh, customizing ribbon. Hey, you can either customize your quick access toolbar if you don't want to go there. And for the customizing quick access toolbar, you can either go there, here, and uh, you can do this. Add in trust card. Uh, it is an option for the online. Okay. So hopefully, guys, you have understanding the MS Office. Hit like if you liked it. Subscribe us for more. If you have a question, you can ask in comment. Thank you, guys, for watching my video. Keep supporting.